YouTube Analytics Tutorial for 2016. I've been meaning to make this video for a while. Now is a great time for me to quickly show you how to look at this YouTube Analytics and also what is really important for the growth of your YouTube channel. YouTube Analytics Overview quickly gives us all these user interface options. We can compare different videos or different playlists. All we need to do is select the video we'd like to compare to another one. You can also select different locations to compare how someone perhaps in Europe compared to someone in USA is interacting with your videos. We can create video groups of our own making, as in, let's say I have three related videos that I want to analyze. I can create groups and look at the analytics accordingly. We can always export reports. Let's press on that. It's going to download um, Excel documents, as we can see. Pressing on this gear icon, we can change the currency if you are monetizing your videos. This is actually important, perhaps. Time period as to when you look at YouTube Analytics, what do you want the default to be set? Is it 28 days? Is it last 90 days, last year, this year, this week, and so on? Frequency for charts and tables, you can select different date ranges to see the analytics reports accordingly. Unit measuring watch time, minutes or hours. And you can save changes. So let's cancel that out. We also have predefined date ranges to see we can quickly select to analyze the data accordingly. Or we can select custom date ranges. We have uploads or playlists. That means if you created playlists, you can analyze them per playlist basis. Subscribe or not subscribe, as in your subscriber base interacting with your videos can be quickly viewed accordingly. And we have different YouTube products, kids, gaming, and general YouTube. If you're monetizing your YouTube videos, then revenue reports are important. Watch time reports, let's press on watch time. Here you can drag the slider to see different date ranges quickly and easily. You can compare different metrics always. When you see this, you can press on more metrics to dive in and analyze it accordingly, okay? We've got views, YouTube Red watch time, YouTube Red views, daily, weekly, all that stuff. You can select show growth of watch time and so on. Now, looking at this, I'm sure you already know the importance of watch time because it's just logical. The longer the watch time basically means your content is watchable or enjoyable. So thus people watch it for a longer time. Now, looking at audience retention, that will depend on the YouTube channel content. Demographics, playback locations, all that stuff. So I'm not going to dive in there because that's all common sense stuff, right? Instead, I'd like to share with you important factors that will determine your YouTube success. And most people tell you to look at subscribers, likes, dislikes. Surely, all of these are important, but some are more important than others. And what is important is comments. What I found is the quicker I comment reply back, then that person is logged into YouTube still. So therefore, they actually reply back quickly as well. So learn to reply back to your comments quickly as you can. Furthermore, sharing. If anything, you, you want people to share your videos. Because that actually helps your YouTube channel growth and rankings and everything that you do on YouTube. 
because it's common sense. If your videos are shared, search engines keep a track of that because they see that your content is worthy of sharing. Furthermore, when your videos are shared, wherever they are shared, let's say someone called John is sharing my video, then wherever they share that, people can click that and thus you get indirect website traffic, as in viewers. Now, traffic sources. This is a gold mine. If anything, you should always make a habit to press on traffic sources. You can look at this, all these different graphs, whether it's location map, bar chart, all this stuff, right? But what you want is you want to look at this YouTube search. Let's press on that. We're looking at traffic sources here. Now you can see traffic sources as an overall to as in what people searched for to find me and how they interacted with my videos. Now, let's go and say, okay, how about particular video? Let's say how to Yoast SEO tutorial. Let me press on that particular upload video. Now, we're still looking at traffic sources here. Now look, this is a gold mine here, because right now, this particular video that I've just selected, I can see the watch time, view, all this stuff. That's no problems. But what I should be focusing on here is these keywords, because we're looking at YouTube search. That means someone searched YouTube using these keywords. Now, you probably know this, right? But average view duration here, that's also important instead of how many times it's been searched. In this example, average is what? Views is 31%, but six minutes on a video that is 20 something minutes. So looking at that, I can, you know, as in you can analyze that keyword and the intent of people searching YouTube because you will then see someone searching for these particular keywords ended up watching perhaps the entire video so as you can see the importance of keyword targeting not only that by looking at this data you can say you know what if a particular video is popular and it's being found because it ranks in YouTube then you may be able to say, okay, can I create an extension video that uses similar keywords? Thus, you will not only dominate the one that you're already ranking for, but you will also dominate YouTube rankings, getting more viewers to find you if you end up targeting similar keywords. In this example, I can perhaps say, Okay, let's go to the next set of keywords here to see what else. Perhaps I can create, as an example, set up Yoast SEO 2016, as in how to set it up, because in this video I showed how to use it, perhaps. Make sense? So that's just a, an idea. But at the end of the day, if there is one gold mine that is within YouTube Analytics, it is traffic sources, and YouTube search. Focus there. Always make a habit to go in there and say, okay, what are people searching? How are they finding me? And can I create similar content? And remember, comments and sharing. If anything, because subscribers, you want it. I want it. Everyone else wants it. But for us to get those subscribers, we need to get people to find us. Or else how can they subscribe? And the more you comment back quicker, that means that person is going to reply, you comment back, so that interaction happens and YouTube tracks that. And the more people share your content, basically helps your videos to rank, as well as 
let other people find you indirectly, then comments, sharing, and traffic sources. Focus on that. Because then everything else will fall in its place, in its rightful place. And to be honest with you, you can, you know, really dive deeper and analyze further. But that will actually depend if you're using Google AdWords, video targeting, as in video advertisement, or if you're using Google Analytics to see social referrals and see what's going on on that department. But if you're using YouTube like most people, then I hope this video tutorial has contributed to your knowledge of using YouTube Analytics in 2016. If you benefited from this video session, please do give it a like. If you've got any questions, comment, and I'll talk with you in the next video session.